Hello YouTube, um, my name's Matt and uh, yeah, uh, this year I am going to be keeping a video diary, maybe to, if you're interested, give you some insight into uh, what it's like starting up um, a tree surgery business. I've already got a fair bit of equipment, climbing gear, chainsaws um, and all of that fun stuff, but in many ways I'm nervous because it's not an easy industry to make money in. Fast forward three years. And what I said back then was correct, though I didn't have any thoughts about what, what I was saying actually meant back then. I was just going to jump straight in and give it a go. And it kind of feels a little bit like that's the way the river's flowing and I suppose I just kind of ended up being swept up by the current. But the high cost of living, high labour prices, high fuel prices have all pushed me up to now the VAT threshold. And that's a challenging bridge to cross because it puts your prices up and you just have to hope your customers stick with you. My aim over the next year and a half is to be able to keep charging a competitive rate, providing the same good service and be able to pay off the VAT bill. And to do that, I need more income streams. That's what the log stores are all about. And that's also why I intend to do more subcontracting and leaving my team on site to be running my jobs, sell more log loads and rent my equipment out if I'm not using it. That way I'm making money off every one of my assets and not leaving anything sitting in the shed doing nothing. The fact that Matt the Tree Man looks like a smart professional company is all down to my grandparents and money that came to me from my family. If it wasn't for them, the trucks would just be bog-standard, beaten up, old, and the ranger especially would look rather scruffy. But the days of building up the company are done now, and it's time for me to make what I can out of what I've got. The real game starts this year. Right, don't have a pulling rope. Let's, yeah. let's sling a pulling rope up here now. Well, it's a shame that there's no access. That would be some lovely timber for a mill. That's the saddest thing about this. I can't think of any way I can make milling this profitable. It would be great to be able to mill boards, but first of all, I'd need to mill, I'd need somewhere to store them, and I would need customers to sell them to. The timber I'm falling in these shots here, I called around to try and find a sawmill that would take it. And in the end, it all got buried on site. I started selling firewood as of this year, and I've started providing local allotments with wood chip. So I'm making something out of the wood where I can. Being able to sell a higher volume will be really helpful to offset the VAT bill and to pay labourers' wages, and to pay off jobs that come in over budget. The issue up to now has been storage, but with the help of my dad, over the Christmas break, we built a new log store. We had planned to build three more, but we both got ill and spent most of the Christmas holiday unable to do a whole lot. Because of the way these logs have been stored, there's huge damp patches in the pile, and as soon as it gets damp, it starts to rot. Now this wood here, this was dead when it was felled. It was bone dry when it was felled. And all that sogginess has come from the rain. But we need to get this situation sorted as soon as possible, because these logs are worth a lot to us for our heating and they're worth a lot to me as a sellable product and they represent a lot of work and that my friends brings us to 2023 and this year is without a doubt going to be the make or break year for the company 